Okay, welcome back to Blade Runner. It is part five. We have just spoken to the twins and we're going to see what happens. These guys are currently sort of semi captive uh, by the head honcho replicant. Uh, let's see what what happens next. Right. Stick so around. We're done with them. We're finished with you. We're done with them. Next, any stuff we can click on screen. Mm. That body. That sucks. What does? <laughs> body? No. Any mysterious stuff? No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh, hopefully we don't get another plank with a rat on it. That was unbelievable. There we go. You see, I knew those stairs went somewhere. Right, okay, where are we going next then? So we go outside. There you go. So we need to avoid the fuzz. Okay, okay. Just built the tension, my Donny. Alright, so, that way. Let's talk to Mr. Eyes. Locked. Locked. Okay, so that's that's game over now. Um oh my. Okay, we'll go back into here. Let's take the elevator. I feel like this is the only way to go after where we've just been. Okay, cool. I wonder what this place was before. It must just be apartments before. It's got like one of those sort of old school uh, theatre vibes to Locked. it. Locked. Of course it is. Okay. So, we'll take the stairs. Keep it fit. Um, okay. That's that. Uh, right. That way. There's nothing down that way. There's nothing down that way. There's just that way. Okay. Okay, so we are still being pursued by the LPD. Is it anywhere I click? It could right, good. Oh, the car's gone. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to the Yukon. Let's chat to the dude. You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ali, that's all I do see. You think this is a club met or something? Okay, nothing's changed there. Double check in here. Got to check every place because this is that sort of game. That way. Okay. We're in Chinatown. We're going to run this way because I don't know. Where are we going? Where are we going? Now, I don't know how much of this game is left, but I feel like it's edging towards the end. Um, this, I'm sure there's only like one more chapter or part left. Okay, we're doing a hoopla here. Uh, there was this way, and then there was that way, wasn't there? Okay, fine. Not that way. Go this way. Okay. We'll try this. We'll try this one. Um, okay, so this is in the middle. That's that way. Is that opened up? Where's this? Okay, okay, so that's that's there. Whoop. Just a random screaming. Don't worry about it. Hold on. I want to try and see the there was that weird place with the platform. 
How do I get the elevator back down? Oh, I don't know. He just appears. That's good enough. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not going to shoot him. Right, let's go up there. I feel like we're jazzing towards something, like some kind of confrontation. Let's check the emergency info. Home Describe them to me. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right. I've seen him twice. Mm -hmm. And the two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man. You know him, rough voice. Always eating. Okay. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Mr. Carell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. <laughs> A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. I feel I need to find a way to the Tyrell Corporation. Maybe that's where he's going. Hang on a minute, wasn't there like a thing with... Yes, there was. There was a thing with the twins. <laughs> oh, they're gone. Okay, no worries. There was a thing with the twins. They do want me to go to the Tyrell Corp, I swear. Wait, is that another door? I went up, didn't I? Did we go up here? Okay, we're onto something. Are we? That way out. What's this? Air vent? What is this place? I know. Okay. That's the way out. I've got a feeling that he will spot me. Just run. Okay. Okay, fine. What's this? Is this the thing that the twins want? Didn't they want some genetic samples or something. Okay, we've we've moved in, we've grabbed it. Do you think like at this point that Tyrell himself has had his eyes imploded? Whoa, hey, stop! Okay, whoa, whoa, give me some action. Got out of town. Got out of town nice and quick. Okay. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. A bit far away. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said so you'd rude. give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, yeah. photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. When my stomach stopped churning, I realized I had everything I needed to force the bastard to play ball with me. I knew that he would listen to reason if applied with serious Bastardy. pressure. All I needed to do was call him. Call him. There is a phone in the fancy club. There is a phone in the fancy club. Okay. Uh, Stick around. 
I may not be finished uh, with you. Uh, da, da, da. Anything new come up there? Of course, nothing's new there. Okay. Oh, how do I get to the club? Um, let's go over the plank. There's nothing in there, is it? It's not triggered or anything. I feel like this room is just like wasted. There's nothing. Retreat. Retreat. I miss having the car. Oh, nice, nice to have fast travel. Nice to move around like a swift beaver. But it ain't happening. Alright, let's take the lift. Okay, excellente. Um, it's the upward one, isn't it? From the cross section in the green sludge room. Yes, it is. Because that's where the weird chair is. Then that leads... No. Yes, because then that leads into the underground where steel burst out. Yes. Okay, train. Move, move, move. No rats here at the moment. In here. Then we go up to the funky place. There is a phone in the club. And I've tried it a few times and it doesn't do anything so this must be its moment okay here we go and that club has been shut down bones yeah been messing with people's lives lately McCoy where the <laughs> hell you been we've been looking all over for you yeah am I wanted dead or alive you don't know what you you can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. Mm. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh, yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Brian and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise, it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. And his dog. Do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? Can't talk over the Phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. You better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Words for exchanged. Very good. Of cool. Say down. Damn. There we go. There's nowhere else to go. Okay, so let's just go into this, into the clues. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? And your lovers? We were once. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Okay. Head guns, rifles, a whole lot. All the business. What do I need to do? Uh, back to this place. Maybe speak to the twins. Maybe go to that mysterious room, just double check. I'm just doing that on impulse, I'm aware. I do love the colour of that lift, bright yellow. Can't miss it. Right, there we go. He's just drunk, maybe I need to talk to him again. I knew it. I knew Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. 
My dog? Good. Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. I was gonna say, he, he did not mention his dog when it was most important. Is that everything I need to clear me? I'm not gonna I gotta you. tell you, kid. Those insect photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother. Said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. He was willing to see me, Tyrell. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You could satisfy your blackmailer and I... keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? Oh yeah. Is he gaslighting me or my gaslighting myself? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. Make sure step closer. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. 20 years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was up. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. Nice. Another step closer. Yeah, I wish I could go back. I didn't do Ezo, but I'm pretty sure I retired a human a while back. Jesus, McCoy, you know what a bind that puts me in? I thought we could help each other out. Now, shit, there's no turning back. Just give me the goddamn briefcase. What the hell good are you now? You're still gonna have to stand trial. You're still gonna have to go on the machine. You got nothing to trade, kid. It's over. Damn. I'll be the one to decide that, Batman. <laughs> I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm in a trap. It's that whim. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant. We have everything we need, and that doesn't include you. Too bad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free, then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent, so industrious. You know what I would do. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. right. It's over. Brother! You've killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourselves! First things first. You must decide where you belong, brother. Stop calling me that! You've wasted much precious time already. 
No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. Together we will face the tigers that wait in the night's forest. Okay, there's only one way out. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going away. Anything I can pick up. No. Game over. Right. Tigers and forests. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Yeah, bozo. Okay, so we don't need to go to the Tyrell Court. That's done. Moon bus. He wants to meet at the moon bus. How do I get to the moon bus? Hey, you see, I knew when I looked at this that that was a ladder. That that went down. That should have been an option. I know it shouldn't have been because the story has to be paced. How do I get to the moon bus? Or was that way? No, nothing was that way. Maybe that mystery room that does nothing is moon bus material. Right, because that way is back to my apartment. He did say my apartment's back to normal though. Maybe my apartment's got the car again. There's no moon bus access. Okay, we're going to try the apartment because Chris has said he sorted it, he said the dog was back. The dude with the with the pistol, I'm assuming he's moved on with his life. Made better choices. Right, go, 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 baby, go. The police should no longer be a, a hassle. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steel is looking for you and Bryant. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. All right, Adama. Go back to. You know you've got some interesting neighbors, Go McCoy. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. Did I kill a person? I might have killed. We a don't live forever, do we? <laughs> so I say, okay. Well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very funny. Yes. Yeah. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate. Five billion tons of kipples surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvick. The national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old mm -hmm. design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. Four-year lifespan is unalterable. Mm -hmm. My friends, my family, 
dying before my very eyes, and all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son, and you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe, walking along the darkened valley with silent... You know he doesn't kill him because of the film. Funny. Fly, Not little bird, fly, fly. I have, mine. have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, after that fall. Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Yeah, you fool. Oh, God. No. Reach Act 5, Steam Achievement says. Um. Let's do the phone first and we'll come back to that smoking thing. Ah, click, click, click. Here you go. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are That's you alright? That's the blonde right? lady. Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. I told them you weren't hunting them anymore. Bravo. What's the matter? My dog's dead. Shot. I'm so sorry. You were close to it. Weren't you? Not that. yet. Her. Maggie. Clovis didn't do it, I'm sure of that. No kidding. I also told him about us, Ray. He took it very well. He and I are finished for good this time. About us? I have a hard time believing that. He's been very philosophical. He's aware that his time is running out. That's why he wants to help us. No hard feelings, huh? None at all. Okay. But there's another way. Why don't you and I just go away from here? Leave this place and everybody else behind. I got nothing to keep me here anymore, that's for sure. You got a plan? There's a used car place in the fourth sector near the arcade. Yeah, I know it. Gordo and I went there before looking for a vehicle. The owner was nice to us. He'll probably help us if we pay him. We'd need a spinner to be able to get anywhere. He's got a couple for sale. It's real risky and roof. illegal. Well, it's better than just sitting the out there in the kipple waiting to die. Watching everybody else die. If you won't do it, I'll go get the car myself. I didn't say I wasn't going to do it. Then meet me there. I'll be there within the hour. Is it just me, or is she, like, significant? Either I've just completely missed the point, um, or she is massively overstating the relationship. I spoke to her twice, three times maybe. Balcony. The smell of crime. There we go. We oh, almost seen the bathroom. We should probably wash up. Splish splash. Dig in a bath. Okay, so what happened to my dog? Oh, I walked past it. Not she'd been shot once monkey. in the head. At least she died fast. And your lovers? We were once. Whoops. I didn't mean that. I meant it wasn't any mystery. And if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear. But now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Why would I use this? There's going to be no new pictures. And even if there was, what would I do with it? No, okay. I feel like I missed maybe five images. Right, move. Your floor number, please. Roof. We're not going Ground to move either. Because my police spin has gone. Um, right, okay, so I need to find a way. Throwing my lot in with the robot woman. We're gonna go with that. All right. How do we get? Oh yeah, that's it. Straight ahead. Past the chair. Maybe it's because 
I shot a police officer, I've changed things. Did I shoot any other human? I know it's a pixel game or voxel game or whatever it is, but I do like the lighting and like I like the effects of the lighting affecting the character like that. You see near the fire in there, you see it like even with the disco lights in the party places. That is a very nice little touch. I did see a documentary, maybe like 10 minute documentary on YouTube about making this. And this is not the place to go. No, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and like they were talking about how like they originally made sprite characters for the for the main characters and the personalities and stuff like that. And that apparently the sprites look look super out of place with the handcrafted backgrounds. Um, so they had to create these voxel characters and then develop a method uh, to get the lighting to work with them, make it reactive. And I think that might be what made it. Um, made the game quite a breakout success when it came out because it was a technology jump and obviously you look at it now you're like oh geez I mean you know it's a bit rough around the edges but at the time I even remember at the time thinking oh that's really really cool like you know the characters are really fluid and the movement's really good uh, but yeah it's very cool I mean I suppose it's Westwood as well isn't it and um, Westwood they did the Command and Conquer series and in that they had like video characters. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Okay. okay. Uh, we I take that as a... You can take it any way you want. Okay, so he's got nothing to say. Do we just go upstairs? Wait. Could I tap on that console? Yeah. Hey, keep your paws off that, Ray. Oh. My paws. Like I need to touch it. I keep your pop. Talk to him. Maybe he'll I move. I hope you got paper. Oh, I take that. You can take it. Okay. Let's go outside. I'm missing something. Do I need to shoot him? Oh, no. let's talk to the talk to the. Uh... You made it. I promised you, didn't I? You're one of the few people I've known who actually keep their promises. Where's Clovis? He's not coming with us. You gonna miss him? I've practically forgotten him already. In some ways, I wish I'd gotten to know him better. You know him better than you think. There's a strange bond that exists between the two of you. I felt it from the start. That's one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Are you ready? Like I'm beginning a whole new life. That's just a lot of nonsense right there. Am I just like going along with a journey? Like, How's she's it tricking going, me. Ray? Wait a minute, I thought you was going to arrest her. You don't get paid the big bucks to think crazy. Any of your spinners up and running? Uh, sure. Got one up on the roof. A real beaut. Ain't a cheap ride, though, I'll tell you right now. I gotta take it for a test drive. Ray, I, I always liked you. True, I hardly know you. You seem like a stand-up guy. Eventually, when this fiasco is all over and done with, I, I know you'll get me on the come, right? You're a stand-up guy, crazy. That I am. They want me to tell your friend where you're going? Friend? You know, the doll with the cigarette. She told me you were in trouble and she wanted to help. What should I tell her? Ray? You tell her we're headed south. 10-4. I'm afraid, Ray. Crystal ain't gonna let up until we're both six feet under. He's moved away. Wait, wait, wait. We can press the button. The button. Ray! Okay. What? Evening, Slim. Thanks for bringing her here. It oh, makes my no. end a hell of a lot easier. She's found out. You're the oh. coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm just thinking.
Okay. That sucks. <laughs> what have I done? I don't want to shoot her. I feel like I don't want to side with the replicants. I felt like he was just going too deep with that. Locked. What is going on? Locked. That sucks. She gave me no choice. <coughs> nice. Shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I'll see you again, real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. Everything I'd ever been close to was dead. There wasn't anything left for me now, and there was no going back to the unit after I'd dispatched Crystal. I killed both of them. And now I get romantic music. It was one of Sadiq's bombs. Was it a lie that she'd been planning to kill me all along? Or was it just insurance? Something extra to defend herself? I'd never know. I felt that like sucks. I had no choice. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. The button. The button. I had an idea. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, but I'd run out of options. What is my option? Locked. I've got a key for that it. That sucks. That sucks. This is outrageous. Okay. Dropped a car. Let's run down there. Okay. What happened? I dropped a bomb down there. Dropped a car down there. There's the car. I didn't know where I was going, and I didn't much care. I just wanted to get away. Not from the cops so much as the memories of Maggie and of her. I was different from them, that much I knew. I couldn't do the job anymore. All I could do was get away and try to live each moment as it comes. And eventually, all my moments and memories would run out. Okay. I feel I haven't chosen very well. I've made poor life choices. I shot both the women that were my love interests within one ten seconds. He's been killed, obviously by Gif or Griff or whatever his name was, the paper paper making man. I got the car ending. Okay, well there is definitely multiple endings. I know that. Um, I know that there would be a discussion about whether I would join the replicants or not. I seem to jo join nobody and then th threw my lot in to the highway. Uh, so there we go. Okay, all right, wow. Um, I think I've become a criminal at the end. I'm on the run. I think it's over. That's <laughs> That's what I'm, I should have saved it before I did that. I should have saved it before I did that. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I've got one more thing to add to this video. I thought it was gonna be over uh, when we hit that car thing. I've just gone back. It, it saved the game for me. Um, she'd been shot once in the head. We're gonna At try and get a different ending. Fast. 
It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, we it would have been last down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message. Crystal was, but now crystal, crystal, crystal. Right, let's go do the conversation. This time, I'm going to try not shooting anybody. Let's do the TV. Violent street crime in the city Doesn't rose matter. again let's last year by a whopping 26 percent, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the TV. dramatic increase in the number of specials. Pick up. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are you all right? Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. Right, so we're going to shoot still first, Ray. then get in the car. What? Evening, Slim. God, she's annoying. I really, this is why I didn't want to pick the replicant. Thanks for bringing her here. It makes my end a hell of a lot easier. You're the coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. Brace. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. Right, let's do it. There was no talking her out of this. <coughs> Shot her in nice. the gut. Shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. See you again. God, so silly. Real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. Okay. Put gun away. To the car. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. We had a key. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. Okay. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. I'll be right back. What have you got there? One of Sadiq's bombs. I stole it. If they want to fight. No. They're little people with small minds. No. Insects. We'll find another way. See, my humanity. We're right on top of More the old human subway human. system. But they'll follow Building us. Building future generations. Not if we can get a ground car down there. Of Hell, something. we can drive right through that tunnel and disappear. What if it's collapsed? It's worth a shot. It's such a... Such a reach. Let me try to get the floor open. Arm that thing, all right? But wait for my signal before you drop it in. Now! Oh. She was so casual. She's like a Bond, um, Patel, or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Okay, no worries. I'm just gonna leave her there. Come on, they'll be coming through the door any second. Okay, so we go down. She's taking it too catch. It would be funny if you had the police officers looking downwards. I knew we'd make it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I didn't know where we were going, and I didn't much care. Away from the city first, and then as far as this heap could take us. With my fake girlfriend. I hadn't gotten enough of the DNA information to save either of us, so we had a limited amount of time together. We couldn't go back to the city. No doubt our days there were number two. So I decided just to drive, to keep on going in a straight line, until we could go no further. And Sadiq was killed. I'm obviously missing a, an ending somehow of where I meet him. That's it. The walking stick man strikes again. General Adama. Okay, that is two endings. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so there is another ending that I wanted to just wanted to see. Now I did cheat. I did look to see if there are other endings that I forgot I'd missed. That's probably why I look different from the rest of the video right now and with my new camera. It's I think it's the moon ship crashed landing. So what we did, I'll just we did the bit where we where we got the message from the replicant woman and we listen listened through to it we'll just go back and this mystery door that we were that you know 
we were like, well, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't go anywhere. Well, of course, it's got a purpose. So we came, we went out the apartment, down the, uh, down those um, little stairs out the front, and then down into here, into there. Now, this is ideally a different ending because um, I wasn't satisfied with the two we've already got. But I'm going to leave it three endings. So this is it. After this, we're done. Okay. Rat animals. Okay. Is there any other way? Okay. Cool. All right. Mysterious. Oh, is that the that's the um, Tyrell Corporation building just over there? Oh, this way. Oh, wait. What's up there? Oh wow, this is just sun broke. So down is the way we came from. There's over there. What's this way? You almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who, the mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. <clears throat> oh. I feel like that was... I can't extra shoot her. Okay. What a waste. What a waste. What a waste. All right, mate. Oh, so there is that way. I know that's the moon bus over there. What's over here? this nothing else there nothing else didn't even start I was just gonna go to the moon bus I'm getting sidetracked faster oh uh, okay it makes you wonder though like if I had gone this way first would have I would I have surprised her being able to talk to her talk talk it through we're not doing another one what's over there Oh no, we came out of there. What's that? Is that the Is that like the Eiffel Tower in the background? Just plonked downwards like it's <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're walking. I've got no control. Wondering when you make it out oh. here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The makeup built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet ma. Human too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened a long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps, much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. So he's not Clovis want to a see rep. you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself, welcome back. One happy family. Got to be something around here, man. Old reactor cores. Anything still got a glow. The generator, it take almost anything. Okay. Anything you else? You got a protective suit or something? If I handle any radioactive waste, I'm liable to melt. <laughs> you don't need no suit, man. Your skin, it'd be plenty good enough. The maker built you right. I don't... Okay. You find me something for the engines, man? Not yet. Keep looking. You said yourself Clovis wants to see me. You're not getting by me till I be sure. Uh, I've got to get something for the engines? No way. <laughs> 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 
What are they? Freaking fly points. Who's They're this? They're all dead. You're the last one. I wish I could just. Of course, leave. it's close. Just power up this ship and fly away. <laughs> but there's nowhere else to go. And no more time. You want me to feel sorry for you. And what about you, Ray McCoy? <clears throat> After what you did to my family, to my friends, do you not also seek forgiveness? I don't need to. <laughs> forgiveness? I thought I could cheat my destiny. I should have cherished what little time I had instead of wasting even one precious minute on revenge. <laughs> My hands are labor day and night, and ease comes never in my sight. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. <coughs> Another sun feeds our life streams. We are not warmed with thy beam. Thou measurest not the time to me, nor yet the space that I do see. <coughs> My mind is not with thy light arrayed. Thy terrors shall not make me afraid. What a waste. Okay. So that happened. I see Steele didn't make it. I could have used you about ten minutes ago. You didn't need any help, McCoy. I thought it was all over when Steele showed up. I saw the corpse back there. I never thought she'd turn out to be a rep sympathizer. People are unpredictable. Chief Bryant wants to talk to you. He says you're really ready now. It never ends, does it? Uh-uh. You're a real Blade Runner now. Full retirement bonuses and everything. You've done a man's job, sir. How come I don't feel good about it? Who knows? Buy yourself another animal, maybe. A real one, not a Tyrell fake. She wasn't fake. Whatever you want to believe, McCoy. What? Paper dog. Maggie. Gonna need to get a Maggie too now. That's a more interesting ending. I'm gonna leave it there. I did see in this other ending that I was on the ship with Clovis and we were flying away. So I think if I'd helped and got fuel to help or whatever it was that Sadiq needed, I think then we would have left with them. So by killing Sadiq and I I didn't even put the pieces together um, that still would be a, a replicant symp sympathizer. But then, like, you know, I suppose she didn't really kill us before. I don't know. It's all very crazy. But there you are. That's three endings. One him on his own. One him with the with the broad, or whatever they, <laughs> they call it in these detective things. And then the third, of course, we win as the Blade Runner and get back to work after this. So, there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that. My name's Cheekster. That's the end of this game. Have a great time. Bye-bye.